to you guys by Elite Team. I'm going to be showing you guys how to port forward your router for any type of use. Uh, I can go from botnets to open up a port for Call of Duty on the computer or something. Anything you need it, you can use it. So what you're going to want to do is open up Command Prompt. You can do that by going to Start, Accessory, CMD, or you can do Flag R, CMD. Now, whenever you're in command prompt, you're going to type in IP config. Go up to the top until the last uh, set. And then you're going to want to go down to default gateway, the first one that it shows on there. Now, you're going to either want to write down it or remember the address that is posted on the right of it. So mine is 192.168.0.1. Now, I already have that remembered. I'm going to open up this, my internet, and I will make this smaller for you guys so you guys can see. 192.168.0.1. So, asking me to log in. This is all my stuff. And now, as you guys see, here's my port forwarding over here. Um, say I want to have an FTP server up. You can either pick from one, or you can make your own. But simply, I'm making my own. The name for this will be, um, botnet, I guess. I'll put it on ports. I'll put it on that. That is my local IP address. To find that, you go back in the command prompt, IP config, and then you go up. Right now, it's different because I have a new IPv4, but you use your IPv4, or you use your local IPv6. Basically, you pick any um, IP address that you can use. I'm pretty sure it won't work with that. Hey, it worked. Oh, uh, sorry. That kind of... Kind of messes up sometimes. Well, there we go. That's port forwarded. Now, as I would have to do is just log on out. And, voila, it's port forwarded. Well, thanks for watching the video, you guys. Um, everybody subscribe, rate, comment. And go to the website down in the description and sign up. If I get enough subscribers, then I'm going to post some tutorials on how to get some uh, eBoot files for the PS3 uh, patch for Call of Duty Black Ops to host our own little lobby. It will actually be an offline, so you go into LAN lobby, you'll just start it up the game whenever you have your eBoot in, and then you'll just exit out of the game and you go online. It does have a great risk of getting banned unless you actually turn off your modem and disconnect your PS3 from your wireless. But here's actual eBoot right here. Yep, just sitting right here. And it is for the 3.56 and up, pretty sure. It hasn't been a new patch yet, so don't think I'm retarded. I know. So everybody, like I said, subscribe, rate, comment, join the website. I'm tearing away. Pieces are falling, I can't seem to make them stay.